You know, when I was growing up, I never heard terms like white privilege, white supremacy. I never heard of things like that. Black Lives Matter. We didn't have all that stuff when I was growing up. And then tonight, I'm watching the Super Bowl, and it just shows you how things are changing. And, you know, white people, we just, we're tired of being beat up on. We're tired of being put down, and we're tired of being stereotyped as racist and always somebody saying, oh, he's white, he must be racist, you know. We're tired of it. And then tonight at the Super Bowl, the American Super Bowl, I had to be humiliated. White people had to be humiliated because we, our, our culture was not represented up there. Uh, our people at the halftime show, they had black people up there singing and, and, and performing and whatnot. And, uh, and they only had one little white boy up there, Eminem, and he's going to protest and kneel even after the, M the NFL said, don't do it. That ain't right. So I don't know what us white people's going to do. How are we going to cope? Here's a clue. <laughs> the first white dominated racist TV show started in 1928. And for 94 years, white American media has dominated telling their stories, their whitewashed racist narratives, while all along disparaging every single race, ethnicity, and color under the sun outside of white. So indigenous people, brown people, and black people endured it for 94 years. And you have the audacity to complain about some black people performing at the halftime show. The fuck out of here with that bullshit.